Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about the EC2 uh, purchasing option, so let's start. So when you're trying to uh, get an EC2 instance, what are the things you can think about? So there are four types of instance primarily available to us, which is on-demand instances, reserved instances, spot instances, and dedicated hosts. So on-demand instances is, let's say I need an instance right now, and I need some workload which needs to be completed. I get an on-demand instance. So it, it is low cost and flexibility, but there, there's no upfront payment. So I'm not committing to ma making a payment for let's say the next two years or the next six months. So I don't have any no long-term commitment either. It's like I use the instance and then I can terminate it and I'll just be charged for the time I use that instance. So it's short term, spiky, unpredictable workload. So I, uh, let's say I, I want to do a data processing for some historical data. I can use an on-demand instance. Now reserved instances for steady usage. So once I've done like a, a bulk load and I just want to do an incremental every day and I know this is the usage for me on a daily basis, I could use the reserved instance for that. So it requires reserved capacity. And because I'm committing to AWS that I'll be using this instance for the next two or three years, it comes a lot cheaper than the on-demand instance. So the next one after that is the spot instance where apps with flexible start and end time. So let's say you want to uh, maybe do excessive compute, but you don't. there's no requirement to finish it off at a certain point in time, and it can go on in the background, and the results are required maybe in a month's time. So what you can do is you can uh, pick up spot instances where you run certain algorithms, and uh, as and when the instances become available to you at a certain price threshold. So you can say, this is my price threshold, and if uh, there's a lot of instances available at that threshold, could be at night or could be at a point in time which has a really low usage, like maybe weekends, you can get those spot instances and use them. So urgent, so as you can see, urgent computing needs for a large amount of additional capacity and apps with uh, flexible start and end time. So it doesn't matter if, uh, so if you've got an instance and the, the price goes over the threshold, that spot instance will stop. So it so it you have to make sure that you don't have like stringent start and end time that will not hold. So either you go for a dedicated sorry demand on demand or a reserved instance in that case. Dedicated hosts so essentially can be purchased on demand and physical EC2 server. So you uh, have a physical EC2 server which uh, is given to you. So for example, because of licensing requirements, you need one physical machine. Uh, so in that case, you would probably go for a dedicated host. Definitely on um, a lot more expensive than any of the other three options that we've got here. Um, so in this video, we've essentially covered the EC2 purchasing options for AWS. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.